This episode of the Brilliance Plus Passion Podcast is brought to you by the Podcast Reach System. Are you ready to exponentially reach more profitable customers? Launching and hosting your own show is your proven best solution for networking, client attraction, and establishing your celebrity expert brand. Visit www.podcastreachsystem.com and claim your rightful place as the leading star of your industry so you make a difference for your community, market, and audience. Welcome to the Brilliance Plus Passion Podcast. Join us as we celebrate entrepreneurs, business creators, and brilliant minds who reveal what they are doing to make the world a better place by being part of it. Be sure to visit our website at www.brilliancepluspassion.com. While you're there, subscribe to us via your favorite network. Now sit back, lean in, tune in, get your notepad and two pens ready, and let's get started. My name is Adam Homie. I'm your host, and I am honored by your wise decision to tune in and invest in yourself today. Right now, we are speaking with Eli Delaney, known as the Automated System Strategist. Just to tell you a little bit about him, he's your Automated System Strategist and is also known as the People Whisperer, co-founder of Purple Night Marketing. He's an Amazon bestseller with his two books, Marketing Tidbits and Networking Tidbits. He has a training course, Network, Networking Like a Rockstar, and he helps speakers, authors, and coaches automate their follow-up to grow their business without having to have an MBA from NIT. You can discover so much more about Eli by visiting the post for this website, for this interview, at our website, www.brilliancepluspassion.com, and just look in the show notes. It lists Eli's websites, it lists his detailed bio, and so much more. But for now, Eli Delaney, welcome aboard. Well, thank you so much, Adam. It is always my pleasure to get to spend some time and hang out with you, my friend. Yeah, and likewise. So the first question is, how does the work you do make the world a better place for your clients, customers, and society at large? All right. Uh, First and foremost, I help my clients convert more sales because again, you heard, you said something about speakers. Speakers are my primary audience. They get out there, they're getting on stages, they're getting some clients, but they, they got a lot more people. They got a lot of lists that they built over time that they're just not doing anything with. And we want to fix that first because number one, it helps them as a business make more money. But then on top of it, it helps them impact their clients, make them more successful And it just trickles out to everything else. And quite honestly, I think a lot of it also has to do with the psychology and the relationships behind it. If I can teach people how to do it right, they can teach their kids how to have better communications. And that's going to make a big change as well. Wow. So that's awesome. Uh, If you could just tell our listeners, I'll ask the question directly so that they can get it from you. What is it that you do? I Okay. Speakers, coaches, and consultants (laughs) hire me to help them take their existing list, convert more of those, build follow-up systems that last forever. And I'll, and I'll just preface this with the fact that my claim to fame is the fact that I could go outside and get hit by a bus today. I'm still going to sell you stuff for three more years. I teach my clients how to do the same thing. And obviously we don't want to get hit by a bus, but what we want to do is build a system that just works automatically. Usually, usually the tools you already have, by the way, Most of us already have these systems in place. We're just not using them and basically makes a big difference to increase their profits down the road and get clients to stick with them forever. And it is all about the follow-up. And I help people build that follow-up system, email marketing, relationship building, and the psychology of how to treat people like great people that you love to take care of, as opposed to connections, just being transactions. Cause that's, nobody wants to be that. That's awesome. So in your experience, what are some of the most frequently asked questions that people have when they're on their journey to making their decision to work with you? Uh, First and foremost, is an email dead? That's a question people ask me all the time because they're hearing that. 
Um, of which my response is the only reason that somebody tells you that their email is that email is dead is because their emails suck. Okay. Reality is they haven't built a relationship. They're not doing it right. So that's a big question that people ask me all the time. The second thing is, isn't this going to take a lot of time? And reality is if you'll put a little bit of time up front, it'll work for years. This campaign that I talked about, my three and a half year campaign was written or over seven and a half years ago, and it still works today. I tweak it every once in a while, but I really don't do a whole lot with it. So those are two of the big ones. Uh, the third one is how about the personality? A lot of people think if you use automation too much, you lose the relationship. It's all about the psychology. It's all about the language you use and opening up a dialogue. So you might use the tools and the automation that put stuff out there, but when somebody responds back to you, that's an opportunity to actually have a real conversation, jump on a Zoom, Zoom see how you can help people and you know potentially close a sale because of it as well. That's great. What are some questions you wish people would ask? Oh, questions <laughs> I wish people would ask. I don't even know where to start with that one. Um, this one is its really <laughs> funny because I wish people would ask, how do I keep sounding authentic without ruining my list or burning my list? Because that's where people go wrong most of the time. They, they've, that is the piece that they don't think about. And the other question is, how can I build this so it's evergreen and last forever? Because that's what we do. That's the whole point behind it. My, my campaigns are designed. You could even change businesses. And quite honestly, you don't have to change that much in the emails. You know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, you told a story recently in one of your other presentations about 10 years yeah. before you got somebody to raise their hand. Now, I've seen mm -hmm. interesting industry statistics that say it can be up to a year to 18 months. Mm -hmm. But you have a story about how somebody entered your community, got on your list 10 years ago, yeah. and just recently raised their hand and it wasn't even for themselves. Could yeah, you tell us a little bit about that? Because I, I want our listeners <laughs> to hear this one. <laughs> this is one of my favorite stories. And so it was back September, um, September 2020. And this person who's been on my list, he emails me, he replied back to one of my emails. And he says, first off, Eli, I want to thank you so much. This is awesome. Um, I've been on your list for a couple of years now. And I just want to say you've helped my business grow so much. I can't even, I don't even know where to start thanking you. My son has started a construction company and I'm wondering if you can help us with some marketing stuff. So I reply back because that opens up the dialogue, right? So we have a good conversation. But in the process, I go and I look at my CRM, CRM system. Now, I, my system is we use old school Infusionsoft. We can track it for forever. We've been using them since 2007. So because of all of that, I have all that tracking. And this gentleman had actually seen me speak at a Scottsdale um, SCORE event. And if you're not familiar with SCORE, Service Corps of Retired Executive is basically when yeah. somebody gets retires from their big corporation, they stay at home. And usually it's the, the generally most of the time it's the guys. And about a week after they, they retire, their wives say, you're driving me nuts. Get out of the house. Go find something to do. <laughs> and so then they volunteer their time at SCORE. Now, I'm not retired. I've not retired yet. But they actually had had me come in and teach a bunch of classes for him. This gentleman had actually seen me speak at an event and actually even bought one of my programs there at that event, July 3rd of 2010. At the time of that email hitting me, it was 10 years and three months later, he comes back and he's not just asking for him. He's actually referring me to his son's business. Now, if that isn't the best loyalty you can imagine, I don't know what is. And that's what this is. This, this that's what all this stuff is about. Grandma Homie taught all of her children to have stick to itiveness in whatever they decided in life. My dad thought she was just making up that word and was surprised <laughs> later on to find out it was a real word in a dictionary. Yep, the word that I uh, have a lot of belief in too and most of my successes have been long game successes mm -hmm. candidly uh and i know i know what it's like to go through revenue free periods i know what it's like to have the universe test you to see how bad you want it <laughs> yep and yeah. when i hear stories like this i get so inspired that you just keep on keeping on you will get your trophy eventually you don't know who's going to hand it to you 
you don't know what award you're going to win, but it's out there. You'll yeah. get on your mantle place. And you know, the, the, it's great that you bring that up because reality is the people that we meet along the way are going to get us anywhere we want to go. And we don't know how that's going to play out. For some people, it might be, I love what you're doing. Here's a check. Sign me up. Uh, some people, it's going to be down the road. I've had people come back, you know, three months, six months, a year. I don't really care when they come back. I just want to know that when they're ready for what I have, that I'm the person that they think of. And when they find somebody who is needing what I have, I'm the person they think of. The rest of it's just going to work out. And when you do it and you look at it that way, the cool thing about it is it takes the pressure off because you're not in a sales situation. You're in a helping situation. And if you do it right, the sales will come. I mean, I've, I've got a client who also stayed with me. She's an old school web design client. So I haven't built websites for over a decade. Okay. And she was one of my first, which was over 25 years ago. She, we built a website for her. She's been a hosting client ever since. I shut down that part of the business. I just absorbed those clients into the new company. And if they came to me and said, this person's going to take over it, I'm like, okay, bye. That's awesome. Have fun. Um, but she never did. And all of a sudden she comes back to me, um, probably about six, eight months ago. And she says, hey, Eli, I'm really sorry about this, but um, I merged about three years ago with this other company. They have an in-house design team. I've just been kind of keeping them at bay for a while, but really it's time I need to let them take over everything with my website. I'm like, okay, let me, let me catch this. You merged with another company that has a built-in web design, you know, design company built in a staff that could do all of this stuff. And you chose to stick with me anyway for an additional three years. I, I didn't even know how to respond to that because that's the kind of loyalty we all uh -huh. wish we had. I mean, if she'd come to me that three years ago and said, I'm, I'm sorry, but I merged with these guys. I'm going to need to let them do that. I would have been bummed, but I would have understood completely. But I didn't even know about it. She didn't tell me about it. She just did her thing and she kept paying me every single month for three years longer than she needed to. That was me raising the roof. Yes. Raising the roof. <laughs> All right. And so go ahead. Finish up and then we are going to go into lightning round. When we go through this kind of stuff, and that's what I'm talking about, is it is about the relationship. And when you follow up with people and build the right relationship and the right language around it, you build a place where people want to do business with you. You don't have to sell them. And when you do it right, that's the type of loyalty that you can get. And it just makes life so much easier. Fantastic. All right. So we have about four or five minutes left here. So we're going to go into lightning round on the rest of this. And we're going to have Alrighty. some jolly good fun. <laughs> What would people who know you be surprised to learn about you? Hmm. People that know me be surprised. Um, there's actually a lot of people that don't, don't know, even people that know me pretty well, that don't know that I was actually classically trained in voice. I was actually a singer. And wow. the funny thing is the part that I do tell people was that I had stage fright and that's how I got out of it. And lo and behold, I became a speaker, which I still haven't figured out how the hell that happened. <laughs> <laughs> what do you hope people say about you when you're not around to hear it? Um, that Eli loves helping people. Really? Equal that's people. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Yep. If you could go back in time and change one thing you've done or one thing you've experienced, what would it be and why? Oh, that's a hard one. That is a hard yeah. one. Um, you know, honestly, I think the one thing that I would go back in time and change uh, would be learning the other aspects of marketing better, uh, more like advertising and stuff like that. Because my, you know, when I get a client, when I get a lead, they turn out awesome. And these are the clients that become my friends for life. Um, but I don't have a whole lot of them. I, I'm very, very restrictive in that area. That is one thing I would actually change. And I know it's kind of a boring business thing, but really, <laughs> I think that I know some people that are making, you know, millions just because they know how to do Facebook ads better than I do. You know, yeah. I wouldn't, I'd like to make a bigger impact. And those are some of the things that I skipped along the way. Well, sure. What famous person alive or dead would you like to meet? And what questions would you have for them if you had the opportunity? Oh, um, the two-part question. The second part, I honestly am not sure how to answer. Um, the first part, 
Well, actually, there's there. Yeah, no, actually, I got a better. I got a good one with this. Uh, Gene Simmons. Yes. Uh, yeah, from Kiss. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, he's a freaking crazy, amazing businessman, and he was the the mind behind most of what Kiss Kiss did and how they did all the franchises and the lunch boxes and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Um, I honestly don't know what questions I would ask him. I just would love to be in his presence and just listen to him talk. Um, and the boy's a talker. So I don't think that I would have to ask him any questions. He'd just be happy to answer them anyway. <laughs> yep. All right. So we'll get him on business creators radio show and you can just tune in. Awesome. I'd love it. All right. Okay. Uh, what motivates and inspires you to keep going when you're having a tough time or facing a challenge? Uh, um, the biggest thing is I will go back and I will look at testimonials that I've gotten from people, uh, whether they're written, I've gotten video ones. Um, I've had conversations, private conversations where people have said, you know, Hey, Eli, thank you so much. This made a difference for me. You know, great example I had. Um, I love to share books that I read and I had somebody reply to an email that I had sent out about the greatest salesman in the world by Ogmandino. And she replied, she emailed me and said, Hey, Eli, thank you so much for recommending this book. I loved it. I got to tell you, um, I've really been struggling a lot in my business. And so I saw your email last week. I bought it on Friday. I read the book over the weekend and it's completely changed my attitude, changed my life. I was about ready to throw in the towel and I'm back at it again. So thank you so much for saving my business. That's amazing. That, those are the kind of things. Those are what keep me going because if I can get more of those, I know that I'm making an impact. That's amazing. So first of all, thank you so much for joining us today. And I know that you have something you want our listeners to get a little special gift for them. And I will share that with them in a minute. But in general, right now, what is one action you want our listeners to take as soon as they finish streaming this episode? Real simple. Go find, go pick five random clients of yours. And by the way, if you call them customers, change that right away. Customers is transactional. Walmart has customers. You have clients. You take care of your clients. Go find five of your existing clients. Pick up the phone and call them and just say, hey, I just want to check in on, on you. See how you're doing. What's up? Is there anything I can help with? And that will make a big difference. By the way, they're going to say, I don't think I need anything extra from your services right now. When they say that, go, that's not what I asked. I asked you, what do you need help with? If it has nothing to do with me, that's perfectly fine. I probably know somebody who can help you and just help them. You will be shocked at how much, A, more business you'll get just by doing that. And uh -huh. B, how they will rave about how amazing you are because you just tried to help them and nothing else. Wow. So that's <laughs> fantastic. And thank you so much for joining us today. Now, before everybody leaves, I know you have a little something for our listeners. So here is what we urge everybody to do. Go to the link that you see if you're streaming this live on our website right now or watching the video version. For those of you who are out jogging, I will say it. It's connect with Eli.com. Connect with Eli.com, where Eli is spelled E L Y. What you're going to find there is you'll discover exactly how Eli meets cool people and turns those people into raving fans, referral partners, and loyal clients that stay for decades. You're going to get the follow up blueprint that Eli has created and a few other little surprises that I'm going to let you discover for yourself. Once again, collect, connect with Eli.com. And with that, Eli Delaney, thank you again. It's been an honor and believe me in education. Thank you so much, Adam. It's always a pleasure getting to hang out with you. You're, you're a dear friend of mine. We've been friends for a long time. And any opportunity I have to get to hang out with you is always a good day. Thank you for tuning into the Brilliance Plus Passion podcast, where we celebrate entrepreneurs, business creators, and brilliant minds who are making a difference for their community, market, and audience. Remember to visit our website at www.brilliancepluspassion.com and enjoy even more great episodes like this one. Again, while you're here, subscribe to us via your favorite network. We look forward to seeing you next time on the Brilliance Plus Passion Podcast. <laughs>